Hello everyone, it's uh, Bruce Lee John Fan 13 uh, back once again. Well, back after a short break. Like I say, I'm still busy working. I probably look like shit, but um, I just wanted to take the chance just to get a uh, good update video in. So, I because uh, I've been dying to do one for a while and I've just sort of got the opportunity now to like slip one in. So, I'm sorry if you've missed me, but. I've um, got some real cool stuff to like show you so I just wanted to wait until it was like all in before I actually did a video so I'd have uh, some like a, a good uh, selection of stuff to show so uh, I'm uh, done really well this time and with obviously working a bit well working a bit a lot more I've uh, got a bit more money and so on so I uh, got some real cool ones so I'll just, it's mostly horror, there's just like one or two um, ones that are not sort of strictly horror. So uh, I'll start off with the DVDs. And the first one is, couldn't, pa you can't pass up Robocop can you? I was going to get the Steelbook, but I uh, heard that the transfer was not very good. But uh, absolutely classic I had to watch it I think I'd only had it an hour and then I put it on so uh, you can't go wrong with a bit of Robocop next is the Punisher with uh, Tom Jane I do like the Dolph Lundgren one but um, I can't seem to find that one about but I do like this one good John Travolta and um, Tom Jane I think it's uh, a good sort of like remake so Next one's on to the horror now, is Scanners. So uh, I only actually watched this for the first time a few weeks ago. So uh, I, did, I did like it, I didn't actually watch it all that time. But when I saw it in the cash converters, I thought I'll get it for a pound. So it was pretty cool. Next is the ABCs of Death. It's like the two disc edition so I haven't actually watched it yet but um, I've heard that some stories are better than others and it's not totally cracked up to what you know people uh, wanted to see really but um, it was a good price I thought I'll just get it watch it sort of later on so I am you know half and half I'll probably stick it on sometime when there's nothing on you know what I mean so couple of box sets now uh, the Omen trilogy so I've only ever seen the first one so, got your three discs nothing spectacular but uh, I do like the Omen it's a good one to put in the horror collection next is you probably might think I'm a bit late with this one but the Scream trilogy I've uh, not seen the fourth one but, but uh, Cash Converters did it again and look the damage there, it's just all sticky stuff on. I wish they'd stop doing that. I love the case though. I was actually considering and chucking the box away and just keeping those because I just don't like it when things are damaged. But I decided to keep it, you know. I'll probably get them on Blu-ray anyway. So, on to the Blu-rays now. So I'll show the non-horror Blu-rays first. Obviously, I had to get it. I just had to do it. This is um, the 40th anniversary edition. Absolutely beautiful. You get like a little set of like postcards and stuff. I'm sure you've seen a few people take these out. New cover. I do actually prefer the original uh, cover poster artwork to enter the dragon but that isn't that isn't bad tons of extras the most I've ever seen on any Bruce Lee uh, blu-ray before but a lovely edition glad to have it and uh, this one picked up quite cheap is uh, the elephant man it's like a digibook so goes through all like parts in the movie 
Doctor. It is one of my uh, favourite non-horror films. Um, I do really like the film. And um, I haven't actually watched it yet, but I will get around to it. I saw it not long ago on Sky, but uh, I thought for a tenner, I need to pick that one up. So, next up is Pet Cemetery. Uh, I ordered this one from um, America, I think, New York, this is from. So, uh, I didn't actually know it come with, I don't know if the camera can pick it up. But it's got a really cool 3D slip cover. And um, I actually haven't seen it before. And I did actually watch it and I thought it's one of Stephen King's better ones. You know, I hold it up there. You know, it is a pretty good one. I did enjoy it a lot. And uh, quite hard to get hold of in the UK. But uh, I did love the slip cover. It made it up. You know, and it come really quickly inside a week. So I'll definitely be going to that eBay here again. Uh, next with a slip cover is Dark Skies. So uh, yeah, picked up picked this up last week. I uh, whilst sitting watched it with the messies, I th really enjoyed it. You know, I know a few people on Facebook have been sort of giving it a bit of stick or whatever. You know, not original and blah blah blah. But I thought it was pretty good. It was like a cross between signs and paranormal activity. I thought it was good. I'd recommend it, you know. I thought it was a pretty good one. And Night of the Creeps. So this is a another sort of like rare-ish one to get like over here. So uh, I had a bit of trouble getting this actually. I uh, ordered it. It didn't come, you know, waited a week. So I got onto them and uh, they actually sent me another one after a few messages. And today... I actually must have got the first one that they sent so I've actually got two copies of this now so um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it I said I'd send it and back but I might just keep it like one open and one still sealed so uh, cool movie I did actually like it I can see where Slither got its um, you know influence from you know but it's uh, really cool I love me 80s cheese and this one is so Solomon Kane this really impressed me for I, I don't think it had a very big budget but um, it really well done you know uh, kind of in a Mad Max type demon type of way but uh, you know sat and watched it Mrs. even liked it and she's quite picky and um, I thought it was a great movie you know I definitely recommend that and the last two now are Steelbooks so uh, this was a good price on eBay as well. It's the Battle Royale three disc director's cut theatrical and bonus features uh, disc. If I can sort of, I'm sure you've seen it. It's got the art artwork of like all the children, well children, kids or whatever, you know, all sitting on the bench and stuff. But um. And you get like a little exterminator with all the arrow because this is from Arrow, which I really like. And obviously, you get your book and things like that. Excellent movie, I do like, but I've got it on DVD. But I thought uh, it'd be cool to get on the steel book because I think these are going a bit more rare than they were now and managed to get it for a good price. So, that's uh, so that battle royale. And last but not least, it had to be done. Evil Dead. So I uh, got this on order from Zavi, Play.com, whatever, for it must be about two months. And uh, it came yesterday, and we watched it. Well, I watched it again last night. Went to the cinema. I thought it was a good, really decent reboot, remake, whatever. You know, I loved the gore. You know, the acting's good. You know, I'm glad Bruce Campbell and Sam Raimi had something to do with it. You know, it's approved by them. Uh, lovely looking. I don't know if the lighting might might be a bit crappy in here. If you might just about be able to see the back. But it's like a sort of a nod towards the original artwork with the hands coming out with uh, the girl fire throat. I uh, thoroughly enjoyed Evil Dead reboot remake. You know, I think it's... Uh, I think it's great.
you know and um, steelbook collection is coming along now so uh, yeah there you go that was my haul I uh, hope you enjoyed that everything's well I'm really tired at the moment but uh, I'm glad that I've just been able to stick this video I'm still watching all your other videos as you know you know I just want to quick say a quick hello to jump master free uh, enjoy your videos mate keep them coming and uh, that's all from me till next time and hopefully I have some more goodies for you so take care dudes see you later